Hello everyone. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Uh, I'm Adrian Kilis, VI Director of Mercado Libre, and I will be sharing our experience in creating an analytical culture at Mercado Libre. So in the first part of the presentation, I will take a look at Mercado Libre. Then I go on to describe data and the analytical culture, and I will present a, a practical example. And finally, I will share some lessons we have learned and the benefits of this approach. So anybody knows what is Mercado Libre here? No? Very great. Mercado Libre is an Argentinian company with more than 7,000 employees and hosts the largest online commerce and payment ecosystem in Latin America. We are present in 18 countries, including Mexico, Brazil, and of course Argentina. And based on unique visitors and page views, we are market leader in each of the major countries where we are present. With more than 3.3 million sellers and almost 270 million customers, we sold items for $3.2 billion in GMB in the last quarter of 2018. But Mercado Libre is not only a marketplace. As I said, we have a, a complete ecosystem. So the Mercado Libre marketplace is a fully automated and user-friendly online commerce service. Uh, Mercado Pago is our payment gateway and it's designed to facilitate transactions both on and off the Mercado Libre marketplace. Our users are allowed to send, receive and finance payments online. Through Mercado Envios, we offer the delivery of the products through to the sellers that operate in our platform. And we also have Mercado Credito, that is, um, we offer loans to our customers and, and sellers, as well as cash, ad, cash advance for, for the sellers. And we also offer a back office service through Mercado Shops and the possibility to have apps displays uh, through Mercado Libre Publicidad. Now let's talk about data in Mercado Libre. This is our analytics ecosystem. We have more than 250 terabytes in our OLTPs, and we have more than 150 terabytes of consume, uh, customers and transaction history in our data warehouse that runs on Teradata. And we also have a five uh, petabyte data lake uh, running on AWS S3, where we storage the more than 600 million daily events in our website. In terms of data processing, our main ETL tool used to be um, Oracle Data Integrator. Then we use uh, Pentaho, but last year we developed our own ETL uh, tool in order to move data to the data warehouse and to the data lake. We are also using Amazon Canisas uh, to write the real-time data feed in S3, and we use Hive and Presto for querying the data lake, and our machine learning team developed their, report, their models in Spark, R, and Python. Uh, in terms of data discovery and visualization, we use Tableau and MicroStrategy as our main reporting and dashboards tool. The users can choose the, the tool that they want, they want to use. And we also are using Alation for data discovery. Uh, we have connected Alation with Teradata, Hive and Presto, so our users can query the data lake or the data warehouse from only one single point. Um, we also use Angular for our uh, real-time uh, dashboards. In numbers, we have more than 18 
can read ETL jobs that move around 20 terabytes of storage daily as a result of the more than 6,000 search per second. Uh, we have more than 4,000 business analysts and 2,600 SQL users that generate around 3 million queries per day. Um, they we have created more than 4,500 dashboards in Tableau and generate, uh, shared more than 35,000 uh, queries in Alation. Now, let's move to analytical culture. But first, I want to give some, some history about our journey. So, Five years ago, our BI model was the traditional BI model where the users come to BI, ask for a report or a query, and they can wait for hours, day, week. Um, and so these users access it to the data only by reports that were created in MicroStrategy by us with metric pre-calculated and from only one single data source, mm -hmm. the, the data warehouse. Uh, so it was a completely uh, secure and governed environment uh, with low complexity. We, we manage fewer tools than what, we, but that, what you saw two slides ago. Um, but we were not comfortable with this situation. We wanted to democratize the, the information in Mercado Libre. And also the business units were asking us for more agility. So we decided to move to the self-service BI strategy. So in 2015, uh, we acquired some licenses of Tableau. And, and we began with our key users uh, program. I, I will talk later, but basically a key user is a business analyst that have interest in, in data. Then in 2016, uh, in a conference like this, I, I saw Alation as a gateway for our data discovery processing in Mercado Libre. Um, meanwhile, we were we continue with this strategy to develop the the key user programs and this uh, in the business units. Uh, and also, we were dealing dealing with our B, uh, extra, uh, ETL extra strategy. So, 2017 was a turning point. We changed our ETL completely. We moved from the batch ETL to the real-time ETL. In parallel, we deployed our uh, data lake and we developed our own ETL tool uh, because the tool that we had didn't escalate. And as a cherry of the pipe, we we gave a uh, allation to the our devs and product owner so they could access to all the data sources that we use in, in Mercado Libre, Teradata, Oracle, MySQL, Hive, Presto, and so on, in only one site. So the adoption of allation in IT was exponential we we moved from 20 licenses in 2016 to now we have more than 2500 uh, licenses uh, and now our challenge is to to provide an, an excellent self-service experience to our uh, users which implies governance better response time and, and infrastructure and as evolution of this uh, self-service strategy 
we develop a machine learning platform to improve our working time uh, of the data scientists. So, how we sustain this, um, this strategy? We have three pillars. The first one is training. Uh, we implemented the model 70 2010. Uh, where education and training of staff is key for the sustainability and deployment and, pardon, and development. Um, and this model holds that people obtain 70% of their knowledge from their daily uh, related tasks, 20% from interactions with others and 10% from formal education. The next point is our key user program. Uh, a key user is, a, is not a business intelligent employee, but respond as such in their daily task. Um, they are a source of consultation for, our, for the rest of the team and work side by side with us. So we train them and keep them updated in the new releases. It, it pay off to, to invest in, in these uh, users. And which is the benefit of these key users? Well, this is um, related to BI cells in all the company. These are some examples of the dashboards created by, by our key users. So the business units started to recognize the value of these key users and we set up BI cells in all the company and help them to hire the right uh, people. No, governance is a buzzword today, but in my opinion, if you don't, if you don't want to have the far west, you governance. It's a must uh, if you apply this uh, strategy of self-service BI. So this is governance for for us in Mercado Libre. We give the users a control freedom. This means that we grant different privileges depending on their knowledge level. For example, with Teradata, we can grant, uh, uh, we can uh, give more uh, spool or increase the, the number of concurrent sessions. And in Tableau, we could allow them to uh, publish an extract. Then uh, we have different sandboxes. Uh, we realize that the business, these BI cells, need their own working space with dedicated storage and uh, and different privileges. So in this way they could uh, work in the way that, that they need. And finally, certified data. Our tools allow us to certify the information that is key for, for the business unit. So, for example, with Tableau, we certify extracts that are published by, by the, the, the users. And in Alation, we certify uh, tables and queries. And now, the tools that support this strategy. Well, first, there's Alation. Uh, Alation is a data catalog where everyone in the company can access to the information they need. In, in particular, in Mercado Libre, uh, we have all the information in Alation, and regardless where, uh, which is the data source and where is the database located. Uh, it's helped us to, to answer questions as the, the, the analyst is generating a, a query. Then Tableau, it's, uh, for us, is crucial in this self-service strategy. 
and its integration with Alation uh, allows the, the user to start an analysis uh, running a query in Alation and continue the, the, the discovery process in, in Tableau. And finally, Workplace. Workplace is a Facebook communication tool for business. And in Mercado Libre, uh, any team or project uh, have their, their own conversation group. In particular, in, in BI, we created the analytics community group where uh, we post uh, business insights, uh, training agenda, and uh, communication in general. But this was theory, theory, and as I say, I have a practical use case. So in this, uh, in this case, we will see um, the journey of, a, of an analyst that wants to know how is a, a new feature that we launch uh, about QR code payments? So he will start in Alation. Uh, and the first thing that we have is link for our portal BI, where we have the, the main dashboard for and documentation for each business unit and the links for, uh, to uh, Tableau and MicroStrategy. Then, quick tutorials for the newbies, some updates, and the most important thing is he will obtain the ranking of the queries for this topic. Uh, they could also look for uh, some data or articles, but we will focus on queries. So, after he decides which uh, uh, query will serve uh, his need, when he selects the query, he will obtain additional information, like the creator, so he could contact uh, this uh, guy if he has uh, some, some doubts and another information like the creation date and documentation. But the most important thing here is if the query is uh, certified by BI, the green light will be, uh, the traffic light uh, will, will be green. So then inside the, the workbench compose, he will execute the query and wait until the result is, uh, is ready. Annihilation have a, an easy way to move massive data uh, to Tableau. You, you only need to uh, copy the code generated in Alation and paste it in the web data connector of Tableau. So now, with the data in Tableau, uh, the user will continue with the, the analysis, making a report or, or, or the dashboards, dashboard like this one. And he will publish in, in, on our server and share with the rest of the team. And the final point is he will put uh, the analysis. This analysis is published in Workplace, uh, inviting the rest of the, the community to, to share the, their opinion. So we see, we can see how in five single steps and with the right tools, uh, a user could make some research, then check it these queries, continue the analysis in Tableau and, and share with, with the, the rest of the, of the team. So the lessons we have learned, well, first, uh, we need to limit unnecessary access uh, to the users when they enter the platform because 
data overload, it's only distract them. Then we need to certify data. If a user uh, make a decision based on a, on an extract that it were published by another user and was not certified by BI, it could have uh, wrong data. So we we work in, in certifying the, the data sources and the queries they, they can use. Next, the, the letting information that is not used is a daily task for us. Um, allowing analysts to share and publish uh, analysis and information, it generates a lot of, of relevant and irrelevant information. So we delete all the information that is not used uh, in order to keep a clean environment. Um, finally, we encourage our users to document the queries and dashboards published by, by them. This uh, generates uh, a strong uh, relationship between the, the business units. And to, f to finish, with this approach, uh, the users are more empowered and independent uh, because we give them trainings and access to the main tools. So we generate a strong analytical culture. Um, regarding the scalability, uh, there is information in all business units and, and, and on time. Uh, because we identify the key users, empower them by, by trainings, uh, and share best practices. So BI is not physically present in, in the business unit, but it is there in the know-how of these uh, key users and much closer to the business unit. Uh, applying this uh, strategy, the value of BI is not uh, no longer in running other queries or, or making a, a report. The value is in choosing the best uh, projects where we could add value to the organization. So now we are at the core of the business, uh, applying our know-how and to better search new business demands. So with this, uh, we have a couple of minutes for the Q&A. I think it <laughs> uh, workplace is a uh, he, he asked me if uh, why we use a uh, workplace uh, because salation have a, a lot of aspect of, of social. We use Workplace because it's one of the um, corporation tool. Uh, our uh, human resource team uh, encourage us to, to use, uh, uh, to use uh, Workplace as the main tool for communication in all the company. Yes, inside the, 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 the IT team uh, and the business analysts, they use uh, Alation to make a conversation or, or with, with, with articles and that, yeah. Okay. Um, to ingest the data is really easy. The Alation uh, read, your, read your metadata. So for us, uh, put all the data in Alation was really easy. Then 
uh, you can use uh, the, the this uh, robot that they have to to predict the names or the description of the, the fields, uh, but then you have a, a work, a manual work to all the definitions that you don't have there. Uh, but it's, it's uh, to, to, to make available to the users, uh, it takes some months, and, and then you start uh, continue with this um, a documentation process with the rest of the team. It's, it's no easy to convince the rest of the team to to document, but it's something that we, that we we need to. Okay. Well, there's only one guy that maintains the server. Uh, and then, well, maintaining is uh, it's not, not maintaining. You need to to documentate all the information. So probably all the these 2,600 uh, users that are using Alation, they are helping us to to document this information. So, but. Dedic uh, uh, there's only one person in my team dedicated to maintain a leash. Yes, we, we have the data owners in, uh, in every business unit. Okay. Well, thank you. And if you have doubts, there's the boot of a there. Okay. Right. Thank you.